me, Tyler, plugged on here. I'm with an album review. This time, the new album from the band All That Remains entitled Madness. This is Madness. Uh, this is their eighth album. Follow up to The Order of Things. One album name. The Order of Things. Uh, anyways, uh, All That Remains, they're a metalcore band. Um, they um, were very good early in their career. Very, very good. Uh, they have evolved into a mainstream rock band, you could say. Uh, that's probably the best way to put it. Uh, and I'd say over the past three albums, is especially uh, including this album, uh, especially continues that trend, and uh, this one's no different. Um, I think A War You Cannot Win was not good. I think The Order of Things was worse. Personally, I think Madness is even worse. But that's just me. Um, see, here, here's a few things. I legitimately went into this album with an open mind because the only track that I heard ahead of time was Safe House, uh, which is probably the best song on here. Um, it gets back a little bit more to who All The Remains were 10 years ago. Uh, a much heavier band with, with breakdowns and, and actually a pretty kind of neat riff to open up the song for Molly Herbert and, and the crew. Um, that song's not awful, but, you know, I think people, they're, they're like, yeah, that song's fucking great. And it's like, even, okay, it's not awful, but when you compare it to what they were, it's just weak. It just comes across very weak to me. Uh, but yeah, it's not a, not a terrible song. So I heard that, I'm like, maybe. We'll see. Uh, so yeah, I went into this with a legitimately open mind, and I just don't don't enjoy listening to it. Um, and there's a there's a few things to it. One is their sound. A war you cannot win, even though it went in a more mainstream direction. You can say uh, when it did get a little bit more aggressive and heavier and energetic and stuff. It had a punch to it still that they had with albums like The Fall of Ideals for We Are Many, um, Overcome. You know, those were still, you know, it still had a sound to it. The Order of Things, very similar, not as much, but still very similar. And I think this album just has such a generic rock sound to it. And I think the track that sums it up the best is Nothing I Can Do. I mean, it, that the guitar tone just feels so thin you know it just doesn't hit at all on any of these songs even on safe house i just think it can hit so much harder than it does in like it used to you know uh but then it gets to a few other things there's the sound and in two i just feel the writing gets more and more just generic and lame and uninspired with every fucking album these guys put out anymore. I just feel like they don't really try. Like, legitimately, I, I just don't get it. I mean, if this is who they want to be, then okay, that's fine. But you take, and I think the, the, the thing that just stands out like a fucking sore thumb that's just been ripped off and there's blood gushing out of it, you instantly notice it type of thing, is the choruses. The choruses... And a lot of the songs are just atrocious. They just don't... They're repetitive. They're boring. They don't really have a hook to them. I, take Madness. Or um, uh, probably the worst one on here. And by far the worst track on here, in my opinion, is Louder. Uh, I mean, come on, dude. Like, the lyrics don't even try during these courses. And, you know, it might be repetitive or something take madness for example but it doesn't get stuck in your head because it's not even memorable it's just it's just ridiculous i just think the courses are awful in every fucking song and in, in this like there's just no hook to these courses at all it, it, at least i feel on a war you cannot win and and to an extent the order of things some of the courses had something to them a little bit but these are just like wow it's like i i just feel like they like they're they just 
they're just doing it to do it, man, with with this stuff. And I get it. They don't want to do what they did 10 years ago, and that's fine. But I feel this band is stuck in a place of irrelevancy, to be honest with you. Kind of like In Flames. In Flames wants to be a, a rock band or some alternative type of thing, but I don't think they do it that great. And when they try to be how they were, they don't do that great either. So who are they? All that remains is the same to me. Like, the metalcore side of them isn't great compared to other bands, and especially themselves. And then the rock part, there's way better bands to go listen to. I could fucking name a million fucking bands you could listen to that are rock bands that are better. That just try more and, and have just better and more creative writing, even with rock. Even modern rock, which... You know, today's modern rock sometimes can be very stale, and I just feel all that remains just slides right into that category anymore. Um, and, you know, Filibante, he's, you know, he's Filibante, he sounds okay, but a lot of times it doesn't sound the best. But, you know, it's just a shame. It is. It really, really is. Uh, because I just feel this band is filled with a lot of talent that they just don't use anymore. It sucks. So, All That Remains with Madness gets a, a 4 out of 10 for me. Let me know what you think of it, personally. Um, thanks for watching. See you later.